Hey, what's going on to all of my Aries out there? So I'm glad you're here. Let's get into it. All right. All right, here you go. So you Aries have got the Hermit, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the uh, the Tower, Seven of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Page of Wands, and last but not least, we have the... Um, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's interesting. So, okay, so you found out the Hermit, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. You found out that one of um one of the people who you were in a relationship with was hiding something from you, obviously, because it's past tense now. But you are hiding that they okay, they they were probably they were hiding that they had a certain amount of money. It probably was hiding something from you, right? Cause it because it's about how it is that they didn't really maybe they didn't even necessarily open up certain aspects of themselves allow themselves to get close to you, allow you to get close to them, allow them to, you know, actually interact with you the way that they say that they wanted to, but unfortunately didn't. And you Aries was trying to get close to them, but they may have been very distant with you. The Hierophant and the Tower is about how a lot of, about how you Aries though, you decided to remain patient up until a certain point, and then the tower is okay. It's starting to make sense more and more. So the the tower is is that you got fed up one day, and a lot of you Aries was like, "Yo, you out," because you're supposed to be getting to know this person, and this person really didn't let you get close at all. This person would just tell, like you know, you you know, it was the Five of Pentacles. It was never even. You wanted it to be like this, the Six of Pentacles, where it's a reciprocal relationship. It's not just about one person sharing parts of themselves. It was also, right, it, it's, it's also about both people doing that. That's what makes it reciprocal. It's the fact that it's a give and take relationship between the two of them. Sometimes you, Aries, do the chasing. Sometimes they do the chasing. And the thing is, is that that's what makes up a healthy relationship. A lot of times people like playing this, these games of, well, only one group of people is supposed to chase any. Let me go ahead and say that, Aries. Anybody who tells you that, anybody who, who, who tells you that, anybody who has that type of mindset, automatically, I'm telling y'all because I'm, I can prove it. They don't know what they're talking about or they're blatantly lying to you because that is a terrible, that is terrible to say that. That ain't quote unquote game. That ain't wisdom. That ain't any kind of strategy or stratagem to be saying that you out here in the dating pool. That's not what it's about. Why is it? Why is it dysfunctional to say that? Why is it wrong? Easy, easy work. It's wrong because what's going to happen is, is that you're going to try to get the person to chase and chase and chase and chase and chase. And the people who have self-respect, after a while, they're going to stop chasing. Or the, or the vast majority of people who you, who, not you, but the vast majority of a person that that type of person is going to, to get or get people to chase and do all that proverbial chasing are people, if if they ever get what it is that they want or something out of it, they're going to leave because they see it as way too much work to, to get even one thing. And it's exhausting after a while. Or the type of people who are essentially broken and the type of people who will offer you all this and offer you all that all at once without actually really getting to know them so that you can, so that you can um give them 
intimacy. And that's the catch 22 of it. So that's terrible advice. So the thing, so the thing is that the, uh, the, the seven of wands is about <coughs> the seven of wands is about how, um, you, you actually did like this person from the past, but obviously this person was just too dysfunctional. And then you have the six of cups. Now, all of a sudden, this person wants to come back. Here we go. Now they want to come back, right? They may call you. They may come by. They may text you. All of that, right? They may be around, right? Then you have the six of wands. So six cards, back to back, the six of wands. Now this person, again, they want to make things even. They want to make things fair and square, excuse me, with you. And then you have the, the page of wands. The page of wands and the eight of pentacles, is this something that you Aries want? Because the page of wands represents some of you Aries will clear the table or clear the way for the, for the potential rekindling of the relationship. And some of you Aries will clear everything that's BS out of the way, including them, because you realize that you have to do it. It's what's necessary. So the thing is that the Eight of Pentacles now is a representation of how you need to understand that what comes next after that, what comes next after that is understanding that what do you want to do, right? Being true to self, what exactly do you want to do? Um, and this is a real, re this is a realization moment because now it asks you to figure out what you want to do, right? Because you have all these choices. You Aries have all these choices. This person wants to supposedly come back. This person is trying to get in, this person is in touch with you, not trying to, they are in touch with you. They're trying, they'll leave a sticky note on your door. There's many forms of communication. They will leave a sticky note on your door, call you, text you, all this stuff, right? So let's clarify the Six of Cups. So you have the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Wands, the Fool, the Seven of Wands. So the Eight of Cups is, is that some of you Aries will decide to walk away for good. Good. Some of you Aries may decide to give them a second chance or at the very least think about it. Okay, if that's what you want to do, all of that is good and well. Just make sure you don't, just make sure you understand what you're doing. The nine of wands is, is that some of those people are not going to be able to handle you walking off because they, they're going to know that they played so many games to the point where they really messed up and they couldn't stop messing up. So then you have the fool and the seven of wands for some of you areas who decide to accept them back. And you, again, page of wands, you clear that table to where the two of you can start interacting and dating again, just make sure, right, fool seven of wands, just make sure that the two of you are doing the chasing. Don't have them do too many things because it's still, that's still not advised. I still wouldn't ask you to do that. Why? Because even if this person, it's a fat chance of that, but even if this person is trying to change, right? And they're doing all this stuff, it can, it can reverse the change because now it's like, it's a situation where they're thinking to themselves, now I'm doing all the chasing and you're not, you're not chasing me back. So then it'll, so then they'll feel underappreciated. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all it's a, it's a fine give and take. If you would like for me to teach you that fine give and take or some aspects of that give and take, then feel free to hit me up through my website, right? Or my email address and come get a reading, come get relationship tips, session, right? I, all of that stuff, my rates and all of that and how many minutes and how much money it's going to cost. It's all on my website. Go ahead, check it out. Um, as far as these readings are concerned, I'm, I'm telling you everything, right? 
trying to give you as much understanding as I possibly can, but I'm limited here on YouTube. I can't necessarily give you all of it or a lot of it, right? Where you'll see a lot of a lot more results because, you know, I'm limited here on YouTube. But at the same time though, don't always don't let them do too much chasing too. Even if you are even if they are trying to make up for it, don't let them do too much chasing cuz then that'll also create a terrible dynamic too. Let's clarify the page of wands. Right. So the temperance, to clarify the page of wands, we have the temperance. Let me show it to you again. Two of Pentacles, page of wands, the moon. Okay, so for for the for you Aries who are gonna go back. Just pay attention to if they're actually making a, a real change or not. You Aries who have decided to not go back. Now, a lot of you, though, you Aries who decided to not go back, you are, you're leaving them knowing that you made the correct decision for yourself. For you Aries who decided to go back, maybe this is the correct decision for you. Maybe you still want and need closure, right? This concept of closure. So don't be surprised, for real though, don't be surprised out here, okay? And then you have the two of pentacles. For some of you Aries, there is still a level of misinterpretation and confusion. Don't allow this to really get you too twisted and caught up because of the things that they're saying. If it, I'll say this to help you out. If it seems like it's confusing, that's a good idea to leave. Because that's, that's not something that you should want. However, you're going to do whatever it is that you want to do at the end of the day. I can't stop you. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help you out, you know? And then the thing is that the page of wands, which you already got, page of wands, so I got to draw another one. And then uh, the wheel of fortune, because we can't clarify one card with the same card. So let's uh, excommunicate the page of wands because we're clarifying for the page of wands. Um, but it goes to show you how paramount the Page of Wands is. The moon and the Wheel of Fortune represents when, for some of you Aries who have decided to move forward without them, a lot of you Aries are doing the work because you're starting to understand that you don't need closure. You can create your own closure because this person disrespected you. You Aries decided to get away. You didn't want anything to do with them. And now you're in a situation where you have the wheel of fortune. You're, you're eventually, you're, you are already going to start dating other people and you want to be in a place where you are most definitely appreciated. And a lot of you Aries understand that if this person doesn't appreciate you, it's okay. You'll just go on to another place with someone else and you'll hang out and you'll kick it with them. Comment on the video, like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Uh, I've been seeing how uh, this channel has basically been growing. I've already reached my uh, goal of 2,500 subscribers. Really appreciate everybody. Can't tell you enough, all of the Zodiac signs, how I appreciate you. Some more videos are coming up of me showing my appreciation. Um, and... Uh, Let's let's reach this to 3000 subscribers because I'm trying to get this YouTube channel to 3000 subscribers next. That's one of my goals. Um, sorry about that. That's one of my goals. So, uh, yes, as I said before, comment, like, subscribe, keep hitting the, uh, the subscribe button, keep hitting the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can get notified whenever I drop a video. Thanks. Appreciate you. Peace.